station is Cobbett Square. Previously on Last Stop. Did you see that guy just then? I keep seeing him bringing home different girls, but I've not seen one of them leave. Let's follow him. I want his number. Holy shit! Get a video of this! <gasps> Leg it! Help! We need to move him. Let's get him inside, out of sight. Where the hell are you? Um, here she is. Right. This is not on. You told Mum you'd text her. You didn't. You said you'd be at Vivek's house. You weren't. We were worried about you, Donna. Is everything okay? Just a moment, Ash. I'm not finished. Where the hell were you, Donna? Where are your friends? What prevented you giving us even a courtesy text? I'm really, really sorry. It won't happen again. I had to come out here this late. I have work in the morning. Mum's got enough on her plate. You were out with Vivek again, right? Where is he? He's still at youth club. You're lying! Again! I wonder how Vivek's dad feels about his son staying out all hours. Why don't I ask him while we're here? I bet he'll appreciate me knocking on his door in the middle of the night. No, please don't do that. Babe, it's pretty late. Perhaps we should all just go home. Oh, perfect. My fiancé's taking your side now. I don't know what's happened with you, Donna. You're always in your head. You're never at home. You never help around the house. Okay, I get it. I'm a total screw-up. Are you happy now? Let's just talk about this in the morning. Fine. I've done all I can. You two can sort it out amongst yourselves. I know Em can come on a bit strong at times, but she loves you. She has your best interests at heart. You're very quiet. Is something the matter? Just tired. I'm not your sister. I'm not going to ask where you were, but you can always tell me if you're in trouble. Really, I'm fine. I love your sister, Donna. I just want us all to be safe and get along. Yep, sounds good. You're sure nothing happened tonight? There's nothing... wrong? Look into my eyes. I'm fine. Okay. Let's get ourselves home before I get a scolding too.
Wendy are going out together. I thought they were already seeing each other. No, they've been seeing each other for a bit, but now they're actually going out. Bill's such a player. I wonder how long that will last. Thought you guys were dead. How come you didn't text me back? We had to go off the grid. I smashed my phone so they couldn't use my GPS. My phone's out of battery. How did it go with your sister? Things are getting a bit tense at home. It couldn't be worse timing, to be honest. Why? What's wrong? Nah, it's cool. Just felt like venting for a moment. Has he said anything? Not a peep. He just sat there staring at us. Pretty weird. I didn't dare sleep. I don't trust Viv's not tying skills. Hey! I can't believe how tired I am. Did you bring any food? Oh, no. Sorry, guys. I didn't think. Okay, let's get some supplies. We could do with tying the fella up a bit more securely. Sounds good. I could do with a second breakfast. I'll come with. Hang on, that's bullshit. You just got here. How about you stay and me and Viv go? It's cool. I'll watch him. You both go and bring back some food and some zip ties or something. See you when we get back. Come on already. I'm getting hangry. You must be shattered. You and Viv chatting all night. What did you talk about? You didn't mention anything about me to your sister last night, yeah? Why would I do that? Just, it was self-defence, yeah? And he's not dead or anything, so it's not even a crime, really? I'm not an idiot. I didn't say anything. It was Viv's idea to tie him up, and if you hadn't got stuck on that fence or whatever, we wouldn't even be in this situation. Mr Hughes is going to kick off if we have much more time off school. Screw school! It's the least of our problems. What are we getting again? Some stuff to tie the guy up with and some sort of weapon. Yeah. Uh, why don't you leave the talking to me? As if I would actually say it like that. Hi. Can I have a Stanley knife, uh, a roll of duct tape and a bunch of double thick zip ties? How old are you? Should you two be in school? It's a teacher training day. Mm, right. Wear your school uniform every day, do you? All right, you got us. We're bunking school. We're building a computer from scratch and we need some zip ties to hold the cables together and the knife to cut it. Bravo. But you know you have to be 18 to buy a knife. What? You didn't know that? Piss off, dickhead. That went well. Oh, it's fine. I nicked all that stuff when we first walked in there, just in case. Oh, you little thief! Come on, let's not hang about. I'm not exactly thrilled about walking around town with all this murder station on us. Mr. Hughes. What are you two doing here? Why aren't you at school? Ah, yeah. Uh, sorry, we're just running a bit late. Um, Becky uh, wanted some company regarding a medical issue. Nothing serious, just a bit, you know, uh, personal. Right. Thanks, Donna. I take it you got permission to leave the school premises? I'll make a phone call to your form tutors to check, shall I? Donna? Hang on a second. 
Pete's sake. Family problems? Look, I don't have time for this. Just get back to school and we'll talk about this another time. Too close. You've got crap chat, that's your problem. Can't you ever say anything nice? I like your smile, Donna. It's really pretty. Come on, let's just get some food and go back. Do you think it would be weird if I asked Vivek out? Whoa! Out of nowhere? Yeah, he's a sweetie. Would it be weird? I don't know. Might be a bit weird. Up to you. That's what I thought too at first. But opposites can attract, can't they? And I could use a good roll around. What's up? You've gone quiet. Getting the silent treatment now, then. Fine. Be like that. Oh, we completely forgot to get Viv anything to eat. Oh, just don't mention it to him. He's probably forgotten anyway. Hey! Donna forgot to get you any food. Hey! We both forgot. No worries. Probably should head back anyway. I'll get food at home. If it's any consolation, we did manage to get hold of a box cutter and a bunch of cable ties. Okay. I guess we can tie them up a bit more securely. Okay, he's not going anywhere for now. I think I'll keep hold of that lead pipe all the same. I really need to go. Me too. Need to figure out a good excuse where I've been on the way home. I'll walk with you. Donna, you okay staying here while we're gone? Of course. If he tries anything, I'll do a Becky and smash him over the head again. Nice. We'll be back as soon as we can. I just need to make an appearance for Dad. Should I expect any riveting conversation from our guy? <laughs> You'd do well to bring a book next time. Hey, hot stranger. We're going now. Please don't eat our friend. Okay, see you guys later. Bye, Donna. Come on, Viv. This is stupid. We should have just called the police last night. Probably would have got away with a caution, maybe an ASBO at most. I think that ship sailed now, hasn't it? What do you think? Oh, come on, say something. Just so I know you don't have brain damage. Or is that your tactic? To throw me off guard? Yeah, that's your plan, isn't it? To hope that I'll feel guilty and set you free. For what it's worth, I am sorry that you're in this situation. It's not ideal for either of us. Is Becky your friend? What was that? Is Becky your friend? Yeah. I mean, do you know Becky? Of course. Resting bitch face Becky? You sure you're not confusing her with someone else? No. She hit me. She's why I'm with you now. Oh, sorry, I, I misunderstood. So you don't know her from before last night? Could I stretch my legs a moment? 
never gonna happen. I would have asked your friends last night, but they were too deep in their own conversation. You gonna tell me what they were talking about? My legs are stiff. Okay, quit whining. You can stretch your legs as long as you're more cooperative from now on. I can try. All right. Keep your hands where I can see them. No funny business. Come on then. Tell me what I want to know. They were very animated with each other. Animated about what? This matters to you, doesn't it? So? What if it does? Do you find it difficult opening up to people? What is this? Therapy? Please. I get enough of that from my sister. Emma? How'd you... You mentioned her last night. So, you were awake the whole time? No offence, but that's a bit creepy. I'm interested. I'm interested? You know how condescending that sounds? It's exactly the sort of crap Emma would say, just to piss me off. I see. All I did was forget to send a text message and she explodes. Completely over the top. Sounds like you hate her. Oh, that's a bit much. I don't know. Family, eh? You'd be better on your own. What are you saying? I think I would like to sit down now. All right. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Last night, when you made the water glow, what was that? I enjoyed our talk earlier. Come on, what was it? Some sort of magic trick? If you promise not to tell anyone, maybe I could show you. Sure. Show me what you got. A little closer. Hey! Come on, what are you waiting for? Uh, are you alright, Donna? Oh, come on, show me then. Okay, getting a little weird in here. So now you've gone quiet all of a sudden? Because of Becky? Don't worry, she's not gonna hurt you. Stop pissing around. It's not funny. We're in some real shit here, Donna. All right, whatever. You can look after him then. Is Viv on his way? No, I texted to say he was in shit with his dad. He didn't text me. How long are we gonna keep this up? Moise is throwing a sick house party tonight. Everyone's gonna be there. I guess we should properly talk it through when we're all here. I gotta go, Becky. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, Ash. Where is everybody? Your mum was feeling a bit poorly, so took herself to bed. Emma's out at the moment. Oh. Hope mum's okay. Sorry I'm late. I had to stay after school. Okay, well, I think I'll go straight to bed. I'm shattered. How was school today? School? Yeah, school was really good. I thought if you had to stay late, you must have had detention. Nah, not detention. I just decided to do my homework in the library instead. 
Where's your school bag, Donna? I don't know. Oh, I see you've decided to grace us with your presence. She's been doing her homework at school, apparently. Mum okay? She's fine. By the way, thanks for cooking dinner tonight. We all really enjoyed it. But why is she in bed then? I said she's fine. Uh, perhaps give your sister some space this evening, Donna. Hey, it's a free country. I can do what I like. I have enough to worry about without dealing with you again tonight, Donna. You're late home again. After all the palaver of last night. I was revising for my GCSEs with Vivek. I, I thought you said you were doing your homework. It's always Becky and Vivek beginning to think they matter more to you than your own family. Oh, sick of this. I'm going out. Where are you going? Oh, none of your damn business! Specs, leave a message. Just checking in. Uh, hope you're okay. Slight change of plan. I'm heading back over now. What are you doing back here? Change of plans. You can go to Moise's party. Seriously? Yeah, don't sweat it. Awesome. He give you any trouble? Nah. You heard from Viv? I wonder if he can make Moise's too. Don't know. I'll give him a call. Phone working now, then. What? Oh, never mind. Okay, cool. See you later. You seem upset. I'm fine. Is it your sister? Yes. And that's the last we're going to talk about it. I thought we could continue our conversation from earlier. <sighs> okay. Let's get some things straight here. I'm not your mate. We're not going to be friends at the end of this. So you should be careful about pissing me off right now. Unless you want to see the bottom of that pool. I understand. Good. Donna? This is my knife. You asked me a question yesterday. You could have escaped. What are you still doing here? You wanted to see what it is that I can do. Do you still want to see? Yes. 
then loosen my restraints. suspicion you were keeping a secret. I was worried about you. It's not what it looks like. It's just a game. So I followed you down here. Waited outside to see if you'd come out. Oh, please don't freak out. I can fix this. I need to get Emma. Ash, wait! Oh my god, someone stop her! Please, Ash! Stop a second! I can explain everything! Previously on Last Stop. What's wrong with my dad? Jesus! You've stolen my body! We're both in exactly the same situation. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. You've swapped brains? Yeah. Okay. It'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. On Monday we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. So what's the plan? The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's got to be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. Not for heaven's sake. Let him finish. This sounds fun. First order of business, 7.30am. Run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll suspect something's up. I should tell you, I'm not known for my timekeeping. Well, you better step up. Amy won't take any crap. Sorry, Molly, pardon my French. Jack loves Amy. I do not. Look, Jack, if you don't want me to be late, we better crack on. Let's review the itinerary. 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. 7.50, visit coffee shop. 7.52, order skinny caramel macchiato, no phone. 7.53, consume beverage. Seven fifty-five. fall asleep on train track. 8.15, buy Molly a new mobile phone. Okay, now he's messing around. So, I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? 
first you'll have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. Okay. So I'll just go up to her and say... Hey, Opchok. Pardon? Dad, no. Try and bring it into the 21st century. Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about something she loves. We're out of cereal. I'll pick some up after work. Focus. Look, Amy's a big theatre nerd. She can talk for hours about various plays she's into. It's incredibly boring. She's also been saying she fancies a holiday. Distract her with that. Holiday, theatre, got it. So, got any holidays planned? What was the deal with that piss at the other day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle-aged blokes? Oh, him? Don't worry about that. But since you asked, he's actually a great guy. You know, salt of the earth type. So are we going for this run or what? I always think of him as meat and potatoes. You know, no fuss. Some people say that's a rare quality. Keep up if you can. Wow, I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. You spent enough time on the treadmill. I guess it can be a bit of a pillock, right? Ignorant, you could say. Well, you're no role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too bad. What do you mean about me not being a good role model? Enough with the chit chat, you're giving me a stitch. Come on, let me hear it. What is it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless. I just said you don't set a good example. You're just like me, you're a total workaholic and a massive geek. So, I'm not a criminal or anything? No. That was great! I feel fantastic! So, when can we do this again? What's going on with you? You alright? Sorry. I don't know what came over me. Call you tomorrow? No. It's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? We'd better get our story straight for Shaz. Shaz is great. You're going to love her. Hang on, what do you mean, story? Oh, well, uh, I had to make something up on the spot yesterday. From now on, we're related. Huh? Welcome to the family, Jack. I was just talking to John about his mysterious nephew. All right, lad. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. Hiya, oh, yeah, Shaz. Uh, it is Sh Shaz, right? I think I think John must have told me that. So, now your family secret's out, I'm dying to know more. What was it like having John as an uncle? Can't complain. You know, John, a total gent. Always has been. That's kind of you to say, Jack. I would only add that it was made easier by you being such a kind, considerate, patient, intelligent, handsome young man. So how long's Jack in town for? Oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. <laughs> He's only joking. I'm actually not. Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. Where were you before you came to London, Jack? Now we're that interesting, really. He was in Cambodia. Wow, Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know, peacekeeping, noble stuff. John, I think you're boring her. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high-tech startup you see selling solar-powered submarines to the super rich. Yeah. I almost can't believe it's true. 
Well, that all sounds fascinating. I hope life isn't too slow-paced for you while you slum it with us. Well, I'm going to head off, John. Don't be too late. Cheerio. See you later. She's nice. Submarines. Too much. So what is it that you do for a job anyway? Are you a taxidermist? A taxidermist? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative. I work in design. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides and make them stand up and things. It's awesome. And what does a creative do when he's at home? Sounds made up. I'm a software artist. You know, video games. That's so cool. Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, not not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free to play stuff. My team makes empathy games. It's art, really. You know, games which say something about the human condition, cutting edge stuff. Human condition. Yeah. Okay. I played this game. We had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. I died. There's this one Shaz plays where you've got to arrange coloured balls. Did you do that? Uh, no. That wasn't me. Did you make that one with the train? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. So where do you work? Super fan. Not far from your office, actually. So what does a computer game person do? Play games all day? Sounds pretty easy to me. There's a little bit more to it than that. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? Could I put Molly in your game, Jack? Is that even possible? Let's just try to get through the first day to begin with, yeah? I'll walk you through it. Don't forget, I need to be taken to school at some point. Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Sneak past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems there. She didn't sound that dippy on the phone. You're mean, Jack. How old are you, anyway? Eight and a half. Good age. Why? Don't know. Hello, stranger. You look well rested. Well, what do you mean? I was actually ill, you know. Someone's a bit touchy this morning. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning! Derek's in a good mood. Right, Derek, yeah, the office clown. <laughs> I wouldn't tell him that. He'll have you fired. I work with him, don't I? Yeah, he's your boss. Hey, you never told me how your holiday was. Brilliant, thank you. Saw lots of old temples and the like. Really enlightening. In Benidorm. Okay, well, I've got to run. Keep on keeping on. Uh, bye. So, what do I do when I get there? 
It's Monday. That means sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. Dad's no good with stuff like that. Molly's right. I don't think anyone would follow me into battle. It's simple, trust me. Jonah's working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs Clapton's tea shop. Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. And Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. And Maya is midway through implementing rubble support. I don't understand. None of this sounds fun at all. Your game sounds bad, Jack. It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. It'll make you cry. Jonah Cakes, Letitia's Shell Shock, Tobias Funerals, Maya Rumble. See? You're a natural. Uh, h- hello. Um, good weekends, everyone? Get up to anything interesting? No. Okay, um, let's see. So I'm supposed to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah. You are modeling cream cakes, aren't you? I'll take the silence as an agreement. Okay, Letitia. You're doing something with AI. No, no, IA for retirement homes. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, Tobias. I believe you're looking at a funeral procession. Good luck with that. I'm going to assume that's correct. And finally, Maya. You're rumbling. Rumbling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Look. Even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. I mean, I remembered what you were all working on, but I'm sure you already knew that anyway. I guess what you're really looking for is a pep talk, isn't it? Some words of encouragement. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. I'm sorry that I can't give you anything more inspiring. Maybe I'll just leave you with the advice that my dad gave to me on my 18th birthday. Keep your head down. Don't take unnecessary risks. Stay out of debt. Cheers. Come on, baby. Tell me now. Give me that Derek Lovin. Yes, yes, yes! Hey, yo! This is ridiculous. What the hell? Headshot! Come on, Jack. Let's have our catch up. Okay. Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? Oh, yeah. Very poignant. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit, and then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... (laughs) Blew that bugger's chin clean off. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that was my favourite bit, too. Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really outstanding. But the publishers over the next month, 
surprise visit. You know how these things go. Sounds exciting. It'll be a shit show. I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. You mean work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. We'll keep any seven day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Hang on. There's no way I'm working weekends for a silly computer game. Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. I'll set an example, all right? Bloody cheek. Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. Yeah, well, how about I show you something else? Hey, Dad! Oh. Hey, John. Jack's got something to tell you. Yeah, now, now, before I go into details, it's important you know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. Jack got fired. Tell me she's joking. No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, don't tell your dad that. OK, well, well, maybe I did get a little bit fired. Told you. Between you and me, I think that Clive fella overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. This is a disaster. It's all good. we still got my job, and no offence, but it pays better too. I saw your pay slip. Well... Uh-oh. Everything okay? Something go wrong? I've got something to tell you. Wait. What?! You got fired as well?! Pretty eventful day, right? Oh, this is not happening. What a nightmare. Oh, but it was all gravy when you lost my job. Do you two need some privacy? Very cute. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? I want two slices. Hey, it's my figure you're ruining there. But yeah, I'll have a quarter. <laughs> a quarter? You'll get what's left, mate. 